Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you watched the last video, which was um, me moving to Phuket the first three days of our time here in Thailand. Um, if not, and you're going to Thailand, it might be worth watching that one because it give a good view of what we did for the first few days. Um, one of the things we realised in our time just in the first three days here is that taxis are really really expensive here and um, we spent I think nearly 2,000 baht on the, first, the second day we got here because we wanted to go and see all the sites and we had no other way of getting around um, and you assume that everything's so cheap in Thailand because that's what you're sort of told and what the internet makes out the cabs aren't cheap they're like cheaper than in London definitely but they're still expensive and they rack up if you're trying to go and see lots of different things around the island so we decided to get scooters. Mum and Dad, if you're watching this, yes, I got a scooter. I'm still alive, I hope, by the time I post this video. Um, the lady is coming to drop them off this morning, so, and it works out super cheap, so it's 250 baht a day, which I think is about five pounds, um, maybe just more, five or six pounds. So for now, we're renting it, for the whole week we're going to rent it for the whole week see how it goes we might be rubbish at it and um, fingers crossed we're really good though but the traffic is a bit mad here so like i'm just praying that i can like understand how to like weave in and out of the cars and like there's certain rules that they have on the road here which they don't have back in england like even on a red light you can still turn left so <laughs> like i'm gonna have to get to grips with all this and um, but yeah I did it, I did about 10 minutes in there driving doors. Yeah. We don't know where we are now, that's the problem, because I was just following the traffic, so we're lost. So we're now gonna work out where we are and we're gonna try and get some fruit to go to head to some market stores. This is one of the major benefits of having a scooter is that we were driving around and I just spotted, I can't see it, this like temple that's in the background and it's absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, we have realised that actually this is called Monkey Hill, it's a big hill and it's called Monkey Hill um, and we wouldn't have known about it if we hadn't have got the scooter and gone exploring um, and so yeah, we're going to go and try and find the entrance to Monkey Hill and see what we can do there. So, fingers crossed, it'll be open and it'll be really good. Monkey Hill. You're not a monkey. We're like fully in the rainforest now, like on this hill. Thank God we had a scooter because it was a really long way up. That's, you know that's 3k <laughs> to the bottom, look. 3.1k to the bottom. Oh, I might come here and do a workout, I think. 600 kilome uh, kilometers, 600 meters to the top. 600 meters to the top. But they wouldn't let us bring the scooter any further. But it's okay because we've got a doggy escort. Hmm. Oh no, he's quit on us. Mm -hmm. Decided this is definitely not Monkey Hill. This is Dog Hill. They run the roost here. There's a pack of them. We walk through them. 
I don't know, but they, they might kill us. They're just waiting. Show them the dog. Hello, puppies. Oh my god. Oh, that one's so cute. Look. There's so many. Oh. Okay. Ding, ding, go, drong, go. I think I thought this was, I think we thought that we drove to the top of the hill but we've been walking for about 20 minutes and we don't think we're near the top yet <laughs> and people are wearing sports gear monkeys. and stuff so we are so unprepared there's monkeys I can see them oh my god I've never seen wild monkeys up close before oh my god there's loads of them in the baby one I'm gonna show you bear with Stand up slowly. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> caught the sun today i am absolutely burnt i don't know about you you're okay Tiny bit red. i'm very very red and you can't even see it in this lighting and um, we are going to get dinner at the night market so we wanted to keep keep going to this market and it wasn't open that's because it turns out it's a weekend night market it's only open friday to sunday saturday sunday saturday sunday so um that's where we're heading for some food and we went to the market the other night and we didn't have much luck finding anything vegan at all and we were getting really hungry so that is where we're heading tonight to the weekend market and i am really excited work tomorrow so this will be our last little thing we do for the rest of this week really helping us now we've realized that because <laughs> otherwise we were just looking at all the stalls hoping that there was some food for us and um, if you're a meat eater there's plenty to eat here you'll love it here it'll be like heaven George is just cooking up the last of the market food that I bought the raw food that I bought from the market he's just cooking that up now um, and then 
yeah that's the end of this vlog so i hope you've enjoyed it and you'll watch my future vlogs on my time in thailand and if you haven't seen my first one go back and see about settling in and the, the apartment tours on the last video um i'm so excited to eat this so yeah subscribe like this video and comment if you want to know anything because i have some more knowledge on like the sort of things you can do in thailand and like um, even just for places to get your nails done because I need my nails doing and my hair So if you need anything like that just comment below and I will try and answer all your questions. See you later See you later. Bye